And from Romania, it's the reigning European champion and the snatch and total European record holder, Mihaela Kambe from Serbia. We have Ramir Zagorac. And from Ireland, who medaled last year, uh, Tami Nguyen. Yulia uh, Kovalova. Next up there. Two athletes remain. From Spain, this is uh, Sira Castel. And finally, the once upon a time European champion from Italy, Giulia Imperio. Now, Max, this is the first Olympic session of the uh, competition. So things get a little bit more exciting here. Not only do we have the battle of these athletes for, uh, well, you know, trying to become gold, silver, bronze medalists at the European Championships, uh, but uh, we also get to see athletes trying to get in the top 10 yeah. in the world in the hope of trying to get an Olympic slot. You know, top 10 in the world will go to the Olympics. Um, yeah, I think you're going to start seeing in this competition, in these Olympic categories, a lot of aggressive attempts, especially as you get a little bit further down that qualification list. Those yeah. people that are sub 10 or maybe above 10th are really going to be fighting hard to get into the top 10 to represent their country at the Olympics. Certainly yeah. the 49s is no exception here. Yeah, right now there are only two European athletes in the top 10. Of course, Mihaela Kambe sits at number five with her 198 kilo total from the last European yep. Championship. But actually, interestingly, Belgium's Nina Sturck sits in at number seven. She, of course, now is a 59 kilo athlete, so she has to ensure that she does actually get into the top 10 in that 59 kilo category. You know, right now she sits at 11. If she doesn't get in the top 10, She's going to have to drop 10 kilos in body weight to be at 49. A similar story to the last Olympics. Yeah. Um, but I, I believe she will because we actually have athletes ahead of her. For example, Taylor Wilkins from the USA who won't be competing yeah. because they won't qualify as they're not in the top three in their country. Uh, so she likely will move up into the top 10, but it's something to, something to consider. Yeah, there's a lot of layers to this system, mm -hmm. especially as it pertains to not just between different countries, but within countries, right? You just right. described a great scenario where, you know, every country only has three spots open per, you know, per men or women. And so if you have three athletes ahead of another one, that, that person basically has to be removed from the list. We don't know until the actual end of this competition or this qualification period who's going to be in each category yeah but for sure there's some likely bets like you just described there i think in this session it'd be interesting to see here because julia impero is sitting in 12th right now on the list yeah she's That's, the closest to getting in the top 10 yeah. of all these athletes and 12th is is not the safest place to be because yeah. even though some people are not going to go in this class that are on the list you know, well i'm going to be only one though yeah, Sturks yeah, could no. be the one. If Sturks doesn't go, she might bump up to 11. So really, she needs to she needs to live more than uh, Chung Jing Lin from uh, Taiwan, who currently sits at 11. Yeah. If she can move ahead of that and get into 11, then with the removal oh, of Nina Sturks, she gets into 10. So really, she needs 187 kilos here, which is two kilos up on her best of 185. She hit that in Doha just a couple of months ago uh, at the Grand Prix. We, uh, we went to that, it was good fun. So 187, that's her first track mark. We'll probably see her try and make that on her second or third, yeah. sorry, first or second attempt cleaner jerk. And then really, you know, she's gonna want to look for 191 kilos after that, uh, which would move her ahead of the current 10th place athlete. Yeah, big uh, numbers for her though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she'll need to pull out all the stops, 85, 105, you know, she needs to basically equal her, all of her best lifts ever if she's, if she's gonna be able to do it. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting session. We'll see a lot of big attempts for sure, a lot of aggressive attempts. Obviously, the Italians are no strangers to opening very heavy, so yep. I'm curious to see how that plays out, where that ends up. Well, she's put an 80 for her opener, uh, Imperio. 85 is the opener for Mihaela Cambe, which, you know, it sounds about right. She opened there, thereabouts, at the European Championships last year, went three for three, yeah. set a European record. Then at the World Championships, you know, maybe caught up in the battle with the Chinese athletes, she opened heavier, just didn't have a very successful day. Yeah. So I think coming back down to 85, recognizing that, you know, I'm fifth in the world, I'm definitely gonna be in the top 10 at the end of this qualifying period. So I don't need to worry about that. 
I'm just here to make lifts, have fun, maybe get another European record, but most importantly, just win. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Uh, the battle for bronze, though, is, you know, it's, it's, it's anyone's guess. You know, right now, I'm I'm kind of looking at Dugu Elici from Turkey, you know. She's got 95 ridden in in her clean and jerk, uh, 75 opener for her snatch. She, she's certainly up there as as one of the top athletes. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's so close. There are so many athletes in that mid-70 snatch to uh, all the way down to the... Uh, they do like just high 60s and then same in the clean and jerk. Everyone's kind of grouped together between mid 80s and, and low 90s. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Alicia Dugu, you know, 83 is her best snatch, 105 in the clean and jerk. That's big. You know, Mihaela's done 106, but that's it for Europe. Yeah. You know, only three athletes ever gone over 100. Uh, you know, if you add Julia and Perry into the mix, she's made 101. Then last year, I don't know if you remember, Max, Tammy from uh, Ireland. Yeah, she became the first, first Irish lifter to medal at a European. I, don't, I can't remember exactly what the credential was. It was either the first, first women's Irish lifter that to ever medal or just the first Irish lifter to medal since. I think it was the first know. Irish because I, I think we looked back and there just wasn't anyone. At a Europeans. Yeah. 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 I mean, if, if it was, it was so long ago. It was a completely different era. I think it was a three. It would have been a three lift sport back then. Yeah. 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 Pretty impressive, actually. A historic moment. So here we have Julia now, just warming up in the back room. You know, we we turn up to these competitions a couple of days before it starts, so that we can film and see the kind of shape that the 45s and 49 athletes are in. But, but even so, you never see heavy training well 49.00 so she just made weight here which is bang on where she needed to be um we had we saw her we saw her clean jack 85 we saw her squat 90 ish but obviously you know two or three days out of competition we're just not going to see anything yeah anything heavy and here's the reigning champion mahela kambe yeah, from she's, romania she's a very very good snatcher yeah yeah, she's quickly become the, the sort of the face of Romanian weightlifting. You know, almost out of nowhere, you know, arguably has become a more popular athlete than, than Laura Donatoma. Yeah, that's that's possible for sure. So, on the screen there, Yulia Kovalova from Ukraine. Just 21 years of age. Probably worth us mentioning some of the... Uh, the best athletes in this category around the world who aren't actually here today. Of course, the Snatch World Record is held by Hu Ji Hui. Uh, the world champion, uh, she's, she's in China, sorry. The world champion, uh, Zhang Hui Hua uh, from China. And then the clean and jerk and total world record holder now from North Korea is Ri Song Gum, who's really just stormed onto the scene. Yeah. You know, basically turned up to compete at the Asian Games in, I believe it was October, and has... Uh, either made or attempted world records at the three competitions since. Yeah, North Korea, unfortunately, ineligible for Olympic qualification. So despite yeah. being the best in the world currently, she will not be attending the Olympics. Yeah. So there we have Jimenez from Spain. Lifting a slightly heavier weight. She'll be one of the first athletes out. Max, it's, it's going to be chock a block. I think we have six athletes with 70 kilos yeah, written in for their openers. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a uh, an interesting session here because everyone is so tightly matched, and you know the reality is all of those 70s could easily just turn into 71. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone's yeah. trying to move up, and they had the same intent as everyone else. It's actually going to be very easy for Mahela to to time her warm up here. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's the odd chance that she takes a penultimate attempt. Uh, as in, like, she takes no but and one other attempt from one other athlete happens. That's true. But basically she knows it's 11 lifters, it's 33 attempts, and then I have my three. Yeah. It could be 32 if Julia Perry decides to make a 87 kilo third attempt or something yeah. massive like yeah. that, but it's unlikely. So Mahela kind of knows, okay, I'll open up at 85, 86. It's 33 attempts, I've probably got 45 minutes, and she can just... Time it, yeah. and we saw that. You know, I was just at the Asian Championships in the back room for uh, Rahmat Abdullah, and you know his world record uh, clean and jerk at 204. And he just sits there and he waits, and it's so easy for him. Yeah. He doesn't get caught up in the battle. He 
He doesn't have to worry about athletes bumping up or dropping down their openers and changing times. He he just knows, okay, there's 10 other athletes. You know, I got I got 30 attempts until I go. And he, he nails it every time. Yeah, well, that's the that's the sole reason for being strong. Makes your warmth right. easier. <laughs> it does. <laughs> A whole lot easier. Now, did we miss the... The technical officials and the jury get their moment in the spotlight. You know, I don't know if we actually, if I they did happened. or not. I, yeah. I think we, uh, you know, for me, it's the highlight yeah. of every session. It ties together the entire competition. <laughs> yeah. You know, without it, I feel somewhat lost. Yeah, it's very um, true. So it's a shame that we missed that, but we, we still do get to watch the weightlifters compete. So that's, that's good news. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long we have. It's actually not a visible clock in the yeah, stadium, which is a bit crazy. Yeah, we don't see a good clock being displayed. We haven't actually uh, seen any clock up there. No. And for those of you who weren't here with us in the uh, 45 kilo A session, it's worth explaining. You know, we're, we're coming to you live from Sofia, Bulgaria. You know, really the, the heart of, it's historically almost like the heart of European weightlifting, one of the hearts of world weightlifting, one of the center points. We're in, in, a, in an auditorium that could probably, you know, we probably see 10,000 people right now who could, who could see this competition. Plus there are plenty more seats around the back room. We're in an enormous venue. I mean, there was a, there was a concert here yesterday. Famous musician we saw, uh, not yesterday, uh, two days ago, sorry. Um, thousands of people queuing up. You know, the whole of Sofia was sort of chock a block. It took us a long time to get home. So this is a serious, serious venue. Yeah. And you can see from this shot just the number of, I mean, the, they go up and up and up. There's yeah. uh, more flights of seats above what you can see there around the sides. It's thousands of space seats. It's a fantastic venue as well. Yeah. The stage is set up really well, great backdrop. Great lighting. Really, they've gone the extra mile for this. So Adriana Panna from uh, Romania looks to be coming out first. The scoreboard still says that it should be Stretudaki from Greece, but well, it's like they might have made a change. So Panna's up, but now has only 25 seconds on the clock. I don't think she... I'm not sure if she didn't realize or if they were Something's late. Something's going on. Get 15. the clock. Yeah. She should be fine. Well, yeah, they just shorted the pull there. Yeah. Spoke a bit too soon. Yeah, her, uh, her best lift going into this 73 in the snatch, 86 in the clean and jerk. Yeah. Looks like they might be getting a. Bit of a correction there on the outfit. See the TC yeah. pointing to the elbows, the sleeves. You know, prior to this, Adriana Panner had made 87% of all of her snatch openers in competition, so unlike her to have missed that. Wow. Oh. And she, Not I mean, talk about pulling here, the bar yeah. back. Stratidaki there pulling it so far back off the floor into the hips, hopped about a foot back as well. We are staying with the same weight. You know, from so many openers and made, so many made lifts in the women's 45s to now two, two reds to kick things off with in this 49 kilo session. Yeah. Both of those lifts, the first two here, not looking super promising. And you know, you have to wonder, you know, Stratidaki, she's a youth athlete. You know, why open so heavy? Was it to get into the A session or was it, you know, we, we've spoken about this before, but these young athletes, the most important thing is that they leave the competition having had a good experience and excited to come back and compete on an international platform. Because, you know, we saw it in the 45s, the, the youth athlete from Bulgaria, yeah. you know, open too heavy, bombed out in the snatch, and she's in tears and, you know, I don't imagine she wants to compete anytime soon. Yeah, it's always a question of what the long-term strategy is. You know, athletes maybe punching up, trying to get into a class or into a competition that, you know, puts a lot of pressure on them. They don't get the chance to develop as much. Panna here, second attempt. Just ah. way better. Looks Still like a, a little world bit apart. 
little adjustment there, yeah. but no problem. Definitely on the heavier side, but, but I mean, yeah, it, it looked technically it was much better. There was a lot more height on the bar. Yeah. You know, that first attempt just lacked, lacked a little something, but whatever it lacked, she, she had it spades there for that one. Stradadaki here, 67. The first attempt at this didn't look close. It was in front, it wasn't high enough. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, big better. jump back, but yeah. she made that. Yeah, she still pulls back a lot, but much nicer for the athlete, Greece. And you know, here at 67, Hannah, you know, she said the most she's made this year in training is 70 kilos, so. That's a heavy opener for her then. She might take 70 on this third attempt, or maybe just a two kilo jump. I wonder if having missed their opening attempts, they're going to feel inclined to make the larger jumps for their third rather than... Yeah, it's possible. Perhaps a, a smart... Yeah, we're getting the 25s out, so they're both... They're certainly both committing to 70. Well, here's here's the question now, because 70 is an attempt that uh, more than half the field is asking for as an opener. There's eight lifters now asking for at least 70 kilos in a snatch. I have to wow. believe we're going to get a lot of changes after this first lifter takes it. Yeah. We'll yep. see who comes out. 70 on. It's amazing. So it should be yeah. Olivia Zazga from Poland, junior Zaz athlete. Yeah. Zazga's the lifter. Coming. She's making her way out, but she's got about 30 seconds left. Yeah, they've been cutting it a little tight, has to be said. She has a personal best of 68 in the snatch part of this competition, so she's she's going all out here. She's no stranger to competition. I think we've got maybe 10 internationals that she's uh, competed at so far. She's made 90% of her openers in the snatch in competition. But this is uh, her heaviest. Oh, very strong. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mentioned that sh her best was 68. It's, it's actually incorrect. It's 73 is her best. Yeah, pretty pretty comfortable opener for yeah. her then. 70 kilo remains on the bar. For an athlete from Spain, Maria Jimenez. Here's Jimenez from Spain, same 70. Very solid lift. Yep, easy opener for her. Gets three whites. So 70 is staying on the bar, looks like it. Zagorak now, yep. 70 as well. A bit surprising, I, I would have expected a few more lifters to jump from that 70 to at least 71, but Here's Zagorak. Zagorak. So her best snatch is 68. So this really is a it's big. pretty hefty opener for her. Nice lift. Big opening attempt for her. Yeah, very solid. Yeah. Quite, quite a good lift. So 70 stays on the bar again. This is going to bring out Nguyen from Ireland. See if Nguyen takes this or not. We just mentioned before as well, she was the first Irish lifter to win a medal at Europeans, or at least in recent history, and by far the first female lifter from Ireland to win a medal at the Europeans. 
So she's bumped up. You can see making some changes in the back now. Okay, this is going to bring out Ukraine here. 70 stays in the bar, though. Oh, very nice lift. Just went right to it. Very Grabs the bar. Stuff. Goes to the left. Good day. A lot of made attempts right now. This is a nice session to start. So Stradadaki here is the lifter at 70. We'll see if she stays with that. Looks like we're getting some changes in the back there. You can see. Yeah. Another bump. Another chain, 71 kilo on the bar, no good. Yep. So who have yeah. we got next? I think we're going to start seeing a lot of these attempts bump. There we go. Yeah. 71 now. So it's cast out. 71 kilo opening attempt. Only her third international competition. And this just a kilo under her best snatch. Oh, wow. Big step backwards. Yeah. But she makes it. Wait for the lights here. See. Yeah, three lights. Yeah, just a good nice. setup. Yeah, three lights. You remain with 71 kilos. Third attempt. So, Adriana Pana is going to take her third here at 71, or at least that's what's on the scoreboard. We'll see if she actually stays. There she comes. Yeah, here's Pana. Well, she missed that opener, so she has taken a pretty, pretty hefty four kilo jump here. Hop forward. You could see as she pulled off the ground, the bar's moving up really well, but as she got above the knee, she started shifting forward. Just kept everything out in front. So, Pana's going to be left with 67 as her only successful lift. Stratidaki here now taking 71 as well, the four kilo jump. You know, Seb said this just a minute ago that, you know, will these lifters having missed their first take bigger attempts between second and third, and it looks to be the case. Just a big jump backward. Oh. Yeah, just yeah, too much, isn't it? That's where the problems happen. It's a lot of power, but. Yeah. It's it's strong and she's she's powerful, but it's just misdirected. That's Moving yeah. backwards well, that far is so hard to keep your technique locked in. For the second attempt. Control the bar well if it's moving backwards that right, fast. Right. For Olivia Jasga, Poland. Thank you, Roger. So Drazka is taking a smaller jump here, just the two kilos. Her opener at 70. Two kilos up to 72. This is just a kilo under her best snatch. She makes this. She'll be setting herself up for a personal record on the third, probably. Ooh. 
very strong, but yeah. she almost cut it there a little bit. Yeah, almost had a bit of shoulder sort of forwards and backwards yeah. wobble in the catch. Good. That was a nice yeah. make, though. Yeah, very solid. 73 kilos on the ball. Who did the first attempt for Ireland? Ten. So I think we might have Tammy from Ireland coming out now for her first attempt at 73 kilos. Oh, no. Looks like wow. maybe she's moved. Yeah, Nguyen's bumped up as well. Yeah. From Spain. Maria so we're at 73 Jimenez. from Maria Jimenez. Tammy Nguyen bumped to 74. Certainly these sort of mid-70s are going to be where a lot of the battle lies for most of the athletes there. <laughs> oh, yeah, just forward. Not so getting that bar little. turned over behind the head in the catch. We remain in the same way, 73 kilos. And a lifter from Ukraine, second attempt for Yulia Kovalova. So, 73 is still in the bar. Let's see if, uh, yeah, she's coming out. Coming over here yeah. at 73 is her second attempt. Mm. Yeah, just, it's looking like we're starting to see some of what we're talking about just a lot of heavy attempts a lot of these misses in front looking like the bar is just not getting high enough it's not yeah. getting back where they need it to be they can't turn it over if they haven't got the power the speed into the pole so so looks like we saw one of the Spanish athletes coming out there, potentially. Both of them have attempts left. Only a kilo separates them right now. Okay, so is... Well, says that it's Olivia Drasga, but it's... No, no. We've, yeah, we've had a change there. Yeah. So Jimenez, third attempt, 73. That makes sense. It's a fight, it's but tough to know here. I mean, I, I looked at the front angle, and you yeah. know there was some fighting, but I think the elbows held fine. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. We see the jury. We have a jury stop. They're stopping. Oh no. Yeah, that right arm looked like it might have buckled. Okay. Let's see what their their cameras show them. We'll see if they give us the replay here. Yeah. You know, it's it's tough to know. It's a it's a question here we kind of have to ask ourselves with those black sleeves. Do those do those sort of merit a bit more scrutiny? Do you yeah. think that when the athlete shows up wearing a you know full length black sleeve, they're trying to hide something? Right. Yeah. It sort of the rouses kind of suspicion a little yeah, bit, doesn't it? <laughs> sort of. Yeah. No. Right. Like a, if it must be said, it's probably in doubt. Yeah, right. Well, no, they gave her the lift though. Yep. Let's see Mihaela there at 45 kilos. She's still a long way out from competing. She's got four athletes still to open up ahead of her, plus other lifts. She's probably, I don't know, maybe 16 attempts out. Yeah. Go a little here. Much better than the yeah. last, but. Again, we see that left arm looking like buckled. It seems just to be a little slower to. And she dropped it before the down, down signal as well. I but think. you know what she did? But she held it for so long yeah, without any down yeah, signal. Wow, she's been given it. it. It almost looked like and the referees either forgot or. Well, it yeah, could have been. Stop. I wonder if the buzzer didn't work, and they. Uh, Gosh, they're going straight in with the challenge card. Yeah. Here. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. 
I mean, it, I mean, we've we've been to so many of these now. We've yeah, seen yeah. so many. It's almost like, a, you know, you you almost feel bad for the coaches. They're, the enthusiasm with which they play yeah. the challenge card. <laughs> we all we all know the outcome before it, it almost <laughs> never happens. Yeah. Yeah. Before well. it even hits the desk of the jury. Yeah. It does. You know, it does bobble. I, I, I could see on that replay. I don't think I've seen. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's actually a pretty big press up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, these coaches perhaps should, maybe they do, I'm not sure. Do they check with the athlete and just say, before we waste this challenge card, I mean, did you press it? And if the athlete question. says, yeah, you know, I did, then they're like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll save it. Yeah. But if the athlete is adamant that it was a good lift, then yeah, yeah play the play the card. So the I don't think there's a, a you know, any other G rule or any G other circumstance. G where, I mean, there are so many discussions around the press out rules and, and the different components of it, and then just everything around this that drives so much, I would say, divisiveness, but it's not really because I think a lot of people are on the same page with the rule. But it's just such a contentious issue. Yeah. Okay, so we have a new athlete out. Uh, Medin Felicia from Turkey, a junior athlete. 74 kilos she's coming out with now. Very yeah. slow pull. Yeah, has that very like uh, kind of lift. textbook Turkish style. Slower pull, but a lot of speed under yeah. the bar. Yeah, very quick, for sure, but yeah, that bar was not high enough. And that was, I'd say, verging on visually, you know, it looks like too heavy of an opener. But, you know, we see sometimes these athletes, uh, you know, we even saw it today, I suppose, of Adriana Panna, you know, first to second attempt, miss make. Yeah. You know, they just make huge changes and things look way better. Okay, here we go, right. his turn from Ireland, 74. Yeah, we saw her last year medal. Mm -hmm. Historic moment for Ireland. I and spoke to her in the build-up to this. She said she snatched 80 in training. Wow. <laughs> uh, a little bit slow on the turnover there. So you know what? My mistake. I actually missed, missed uh, looking at the wrong uh, set of results. 72, she said, is the most she's hit this year, which means that actually, that's a very heavy rather opener. than that suddenly being a, a wow, what a what an easy lift this should be, it becomes wow, what an incredibly heavy opener that is. Yeah. Um, but you know, we've only had you know six weeks so far this year, so you know, perhaps she's just not worked up to to truly heavy lifts. Who knows? Okay, here's 74 now. Zagorak. She made 70 on that opening attempt. Taking her time, waiting for the buzzer. Yeah. Ah, just kicked it forward off yeah. her hips. Yeah, she had pretty good no. speed on the left, but yeah, as he said, just kicked it forward a little bit. So she will. Uh, she'll retake that, and, and she'll have a lot of a lot of rest because we have quite a few athletes with uh, 74 written in for other attempts. So she, she will get some time. In fact, right now we've got one, two, three, four, five athletes with 74 kilos written in. Here's Castell. Second attempt at 74. We've had a three misses at this weight now in a row. Hopefully Castell can break that curse. Oh. Oh my word, what a save. That's a very... Very challenging lift in the bottom there. Yeah. We'll see if that holds up. It's a very impressive 
you know, shifting around, rotation, yeah. shuffling. Really wow. Yeah, truly impressive, impressive stuff. Yeah. You can see how happy she is. But you know, at that point, you're sort of looking at your third attempt thinking, you know, maybe I'll go up a kilo, but <laughs> I don't think I've got much more than that in it. In it. Yeah, that was yeah. very, uh, that was very sneaky, that lift. Wow. Yeah. Look at that readjustment. Amazing. It catches it really forward, the head back, and yeah. then just last second pushes the head through. Medine here, she missed this on the first, yeah. and it looked pretty heavy in the pull, but very slow. we see that with the Turkish lifter sometimes, a lot of times. Yep. Oh, look at that. There it is, night and day. Yeah, better speed in the pull, faster off the hips. Yeah. A, a stronger looking catch position. Just it's, it's a lift that is a technique that looks like only the absolute necessities. Lots of speed under the bar and just get the bar to your hips and you're good. Yeah. Requires just an enormous amount of confidence. There's Tam Nguyen from Ireland. Yeah, yeah, she missed that opening attempt at 74. Yeah, this is, based on what she's told us of how training's been going, this is a very heavy opening. This is now big. second attempt for her. Getting pretty psyched up there. Yeah. Yeah, miss behind there. Yeah. Plenty of speed, the height. It's a makeable lift for sure. It's definitely an aggressive Another opening video. attempt. First one was in front, that Shaska. one behind. Third attempt. We know where the third's going to be. You know, the unfortunate thing, well, there's two more lifters at 74 here, but that's not a ton of rest for Tham. Sazga here from Poland. 74 on her third. First two, pretty solid. Yeah, she's kind of smart with just the two kilo jumps. This would be a personal record, I think. One kilo over her best. Mm. Oh, oh, wow, look, look at that. Strongest of the three. Yeah, she ejects so much pace into the bar. Yeah. And she's thrilled. And this, you know, this Polish women's team is getting better and better. Yeah, very much. Yeah. You know, uh, the men's side is you know, arguably dropped off a little bit from well, you know, back in the early early 21st century. It was a pretty strong team back then. Yeah. Uh, but you know, this new era of weightlifting, the women's team, particularly within Europe, is getting involved in more and more A sessions, lifting very well. Yep. She's sort of leading at the front of the pack. Okay, here's. Tam Nguyen from Ireland. She's going to need this. Uh, 74. She missed it twice. This is her third attempt. You know, she lifted so well last year. She might just have that sense of, you know, I, I deserve to be a medalist. Here. I can do this. And then, you know, sometimes you can get a bit carried away. But maybe she can come and absolutely destroy this lift and get, get a lift on the board. She's got the power. She can put it there. Oh, oh, there we gosh. go. Look at that. You know, she's such a clutch lifter. Yeah, a game time athlete. What an emotional <laughs> lift. Just collapses. <laughs> well, collapses she got all chalked up for that lift. <laughs> and it, you know, sometimes that's what you need. Yeah. You know that's what? brilliant. When in doubt, more chalk, and it yeah. works. Look at that. What, yeah. a, what, a, what a great attempt. She I looks mean, a bit frustrated that, you know, it took until that third attempt. But it's a good yeah. lift. It's a great place to be, 74 kilos. Yeah. She's just one of those lifters that's so easy to get behind. Yeah. It's two kilos under her best. Yeah, we saw her do uh, 76 kilos. When was that? It was at the World Championships. 75 she made at the last Europeans. Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly not her best performance, but you know she's she's made a lift, so she's going to total. Mm -hmm. Well, she has a chance to total.
So, of course, still three athletes yet to open up, but before we get there, we still have a few more. This is Elici Dugu from Turkey. Wow. Ooh, very nice. It's a nice opener. Yeah, a very different type of uh, technique from the Turkish lifter. Yeah, yeah. A little smoother. Yeah, smoother, much more vertical. Yep. Yeah, much more vertical, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have that really pronounced aggressive early hip opening. It doesn't jump and slam the feet. Yeah. 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 Yeah, watch how clean this was. Just so upright. Yeah, you know, that, that finish, that Ooh. contact really is very vertical. Yeah. Almost looks like uh, Are you about Sergio to say, Masita. Okay, okay. Right? That's not who I thought it was going to be. Max Lang. Uh huh. Yeah. It's one of those very upright extensions. Yeah, yeah. Who were you thinking? Ha, well, it's going to sound like such a strange uh, comparison, but the transition from being over the bar to the vertical finish, I was thinking of China's 109 Yang Zhu oh. from back in the day. Yeah. A very much vertical much finish. More, much more obscure reference, for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe you had it too. <laughs> yeah, maybe to some people listening that love catch that too. Okay, 76 now. Final attempt for Zagorac from Serbia. She jumped four kilos from open at a second but missed it. So this is, you know, if she makes it, she's a genius. If she misses it, she's going to be... Yeah. Credited with a lift six kilos lighter than this at 70. So there's a lot on the line for this. This is a two kilo personal record for her, I believe. No, this is a. Six, eight kilos? Seven kilos. I think 68 is the best. Oh, 76, yeah. Eight kilos up. Huge attempt for her. Oh, that's a bit yeah, too heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. You could see that. So just started swinging it a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, once that bar passes the knee, it's really obvious where the power's at. If the athlete's able to continue accelerating it and bring it to the hips well, they're, they're set. But if it gets past that knee and it just isn't moving fast enough, it starts to decelerate. It's so hard to make a lift. Okay, here we go. Castell, Sierra Castell. This is her third attempt, I believe. She's been looking pretty good so far. 71, 74, here's 76. Oh, just almost there, yeah. but a little bit forward. She had to hop through. But, you know, this is a third international. She's made improvements at uh, you know, all of them. So 64 at the first, 72 at the World Champs last year, now 74. For the third attempt from Turkey, Medin Milicien. Two athletes, as mentioned, still yet to open. There's Julia Imperio, who is looking to get into the top ten in the world to try and get a spot at the Olympics. And then Mahela Kambe, who is looking to get a back-to-back -back European Championships title. Both of them are, have won the European Championships, but Mahela certainly the stronger of the two these days. Mr. Opener made her second. Oh, oh, gosh, yeah. it just gets just so deep in the catch. Yeah, I mean, you can see that the pull there is just not moving that fast. Yeah, There's yeah. not a lot of power at the end, and, you know, no, ma no amount of speed's really going to make up for that. Yeah. For the second attempt from Turkey, Duygu Azili.
So is it going to be looks like Dugu coming least, out yeah. in 78? There's I'll 80 for Mahala in the back room. Hopefully the camera lingers on that. No, we need to get it back to the competition because Lichi's coming out. Second attempt, 78. If she makes this, she'll likely jump to 80 or 81, which will bring out Julia Imperio. Yeah. She's presumably pretty much ready now to uh, open up her European Champs 2024. Yeah, really watch how she extends at the top of the pole here. Mm. Much more vertical than the other uh, Turkish athletes that we've seen so far this competition. Four Turkish athletes so far in yeah, these sessions. They've shown up in force here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It is very vertical. You know, that one pinged her out a little bit, but yeah. it's definitely a little bit, you know, it's a, it's a different, different than what we see from the Turkish style. But uh, we'll see if she comes back. I imagine she's going to repeat that again. That would mean that the next two lifters are going to take all their attempts okay. essentially back to back or possibly even Imperio taking almost maybe two, two yeah. possibly before Kambe opens. So Alici did tell us that she'd snatched 80 kilos in training. So this 78 is something that's certainly within her capabilities. And that 80 has been done, you know, this year. Yeah. So it's, it's not an old record. It's uh, recent numbers. Yeah, I think she's currently with 75. She's in, well, the tentative bronze spot, I imagine, with that lift. So 78 here just kind of bumps her up a little bit. There's Julia in the back, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Focusing, it looks like she, yeah, she'll be up next. So she's made 55% of all of her third attempts in the snatch in her career. This is her 10th international. Let's see if she can stay over 50%. Takes her time on the setup. She's really got to bring into the hips perfectly. Oh, wow. beautiful lift. Yeah, I mean, it's so nice. Can she hold it? Yeah, oh. so much focus you could see in her yeah. face as she she settled, waited, and came up. Yeah. She never, never once sort of assumed that she'd had that made. Really precise. That yeah. was a great lift. Just a, a very technically aesthetic lift there. See some of it here on the screen. Look at that finish. Yeah, just very All very in the clean. legs. Lovely stuff. Well done. Wow, the 83, I guess Julia has bumped up. And you know what? This I is... Mean, um, it's, it's a kind of necessary almost. It's necessary. You know, she wants to get in the top 10 in the world. To do that, she needs, you know, best case scenario, she needs 187. Yeah. Better case scenario, she needs about 191, depending on who she's trying to overtake and whether she's willing to, you know, yeah. let other countries remove athletes. You know, this lift, I think, might set the tone. You know, it's it's that important. She makes this. She builds a lot of momentum and confidence for the next ones. She has a lot of power. She just, you know, she she does have a tendency to miss snatches sometimes. Oh, so strong, so fast. Yep. But like you said, just a tiny bit off, a little loop, and it's not there. The downside to that here is, you know, she's got two lifts left, and is it one of those games where... It creeps into your mind that maybe I should bump up because I need more. Well, this is the type Can of athlete that we're, we're going to notice either here and then in Thailand are basically just going to be yeah. taking jumps at top 10 results. I mean, essentially, that's yeah, for. that's where she's at now. I mean, 83 is essentially, you know, yeah. setting herself up as much as she, as she can. Yeah. You know, with the best snatch of 85, 83 really is pretty heavy. You know, what, what's interesting here is that 
this, in her case, a little more unique because she's in the top here at the Continental, is going to be in the top three here. But these aggressive attempts might knock her out of, I mean, you know, God forbid someone Medals. bombs it because, uh, they're, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're trying to get top 10. And, and so that allows for someone who maybe wasn't really going to be in that spot to, to creep into the podium. You know, yeah. you're going to yeah, get a bronze medalist. to medalist. make lift. I mean, if she just makes a snatch and a clean and jerk, that's, yeah. that will probably be a, a silver medal in the total for her. Yeah. But, of course, she, she's not here for that. That's just a byproduct of what she's really here yeah. for, which is to get in the top ten in the world. She wants to go to the Olympics. Yeah. And right now, you know, Italy's got two, maybe three men in the top ten. If we yeah, yeah, yeah. include Mirko Zania, yeah, yeah. he might be in the top ten at 73s. But on the women's side, they're, they're all, you know, they're all right on the cusp. Certainly a fan favorite. A lot of speed, a lot of power. She just has to pull it a little bit straighter. Control that on top. Ah. One behind, yep. one in front. Well, now it's a tough spot. Does she go up? Yeah, I mean, does she go to 85, hoping that Cambay doesn't just bump to 86 and rob her of the clock? Well, let's but just, that's, you know, 85 and 100 would just put her in the same spot she was at. So to, so to recap, like some of what we spoke about earlier, she's in 12th in the world. She needs to get into the top 10. Yeah. But we do know that Nina Sturks is trying to go as a 59. Right now she's ranked at 49. So once we remove her, Julie moves up to 11th. Yeah. So she only has to move ahead of Cheng Jin Lin. Yeah, she needs 187. To get into 10. She needs 187. I mean, at, at this moment right now, if you're a coach in the back, you're on the Italian team, you understand that 187 is the only logical number to yeah. be trying. Do you do... 83 again and then try and hit a 104 PR? I mean, do you go 86 and then only have to do 101? Do yes. you do 84 and, and 103? I, I mean, I think you stick with 83. Well, being that two attempts yeah, at it yeah. haven't succeeded, a third, I mean. But it's not a strength thing. It's a question, right? Is it, is it the third at 83, 84 mm. wouldn't be any different? Or even 85 even? Yeah, I don't think it would look different. You know, she, I, I believe she made 85 on her opening attempt. Uh, just you know, a couple of months ago yeah. in uh, in Doha. We are down for one minute. Yeah, she's 85. Then took two shots at 87 and, and, and missed. You know, and now it's a now it's a question too of are you going to try to salvage a medal here? Yeah. I mean, she has to make a snatch to even be in the running for a medal. Yeah. You know, she could she could potentially knock herself out of out of that place with this big opener. So Julia has made 36% of all of her snatched third attempts. Yeah, it's so 36%. It's not doesn't bode well no, for no, a successful doesn't. lift here, but you know, it's a non-zero percent chance. So she could make this. She's got the speed, has the power. Oh, what Can a she fight. hold it? What, uh, what an attempt! Yeah. And that is what happens That's with this new qualification procedure for the Olympics. You You're know, the athletes who are on the cusp are going to just take these massive shots to try and get in. And, you know, we're going to see more of this at this European yeah. Championships. We saw a lot of it in Uzbekistan at the Asian Championships last week. And it's brutal. It's going to happen. It's, a, it's a, brutal, a brutal event here. It's, it's so challenging. It's not the fault of the athletes, it's no. not the fault of the coaches. You know, it, if any of us were in that position where you're sat in 11th in the world, yeah. of course you're going to open heavy and try and go to the Olympics. Yeah, you can't fault somebody for making no. the absolute attempt they need to get into that top spot. And yeah. then you sort of wonder, well, does she, does she bother clean and jerking? Does she just go for you a, know, we saw this at, a medal uh, in the clean? Right. I mean, we saw in the 49s in Doha, the Jordan De La Cruz in the United States. Yeah. Didn't snatch what she wanted, so just pulled out the clean and jerk. And you know? she actually did make a snatch. Yeah. But even then, it was like, well, it wasn't if big enough gonna, to yeah. improve my total, yeah. so I might as well stop. Yeah, it's really kind of changed the dynamics of the events. The the competition's not as important. Cam Bay with 85 opener here. Yes, she's in gold. A, yeah, she's in the driver's seat now. Opening attempt. It's a different Powerful. caliber of athlete. Oh my gosh! A different caliber. Totally different. Look at that. Wow. So, so strong. So strong. The coaches don't even wait for her. They, yeah, yeah. They know that's a casual lift. So it was 92 as her best snatch. You know, maybe she goes 89, 93. 
something else maybe worth talking about is right now she ranks fifth. If she outlifts, if she gets 201 and moves ahead of Jordan De La Cruz, who decided not to come to this competition, even though the USA are allowed to, Jordan will move to fifth. That then makes things a little bit more interesting in the U.S. selection. That's a that's a point I had never yeah. even considered. That's a remarkable. So she must be. She's probably watching this, keeping an eye on what's going on. Well, you know, it would actually. I mean, this is a very big hypothetical, but it potentially it potentially gives her a leg up if De La Cruz isn't eligible to go because you know two other Americans place higher. Three other. Three other, right? Yeah. Then then Cambe would would have less competition at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a 4D chess move. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's 4D <laughs> chess, and I, and I I actually think it's it's unlikely that that would happen that, yeah. to Jordan because. She has a chance to improve. Yeah, I mean, Olivia Reeves right now, she's two in the world. She's she, she looks like a solid pick. And then Jordan's at fourth, Mary's at fifth. But Vibert's moved to 81 now. Vibert's moved to 81, but for Vibert to get fifth, she needs to total 262 total. kilos. You know, that's, that's we're looking at 118, 144. Uh, ah, 1646, it's not impossible. It's a total she's never done, but, uh, you know, You've got to do things you've never done to get there. She has to get the total that Olivia Reeves has in wow. the 71s. Wow. Yeah. Which both shows how impressive the total is that she'd have to get, but also how good Olivia is. Yeah. You know, it's both. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting an interesting observation, though, that, that potentially the, the jockeying around here on these lists in other countries actually have an impact on other countries. Totally. Right? The inter-country... Movement is something I never even thought of. Yeah. We also have the other remaining, Andrea Catruda, who's bumped up to 59 kilos because she wants to make a shot at the Olympics as well. So we'll see that in a few days' time. Wow. Five kilo jump hit. In yeah, huge. But that opener was so strong. She is a very, very good snatcher. This is what she opened with at the World Championships. Her heaviest opener so far. Big jump. Oh, uh, it's very so good. So strong. It's very good, and it, it sets her up with a shot at the European record again. Yeah. She owns it at 92. Yeah, I mean, 93 is the attempt. Yeah, you can see her there. It throws the three fingers. So Kambe has competed prior to this 12 times internationally. Her snatch opener percentage, 100%. She's wow. made every single opening snatch now for 13 competitions. That's formidable. It's that's unbelievable. A, that's a very consistent yeah. lifter. Her final snatch percentage, third attempt, is 50%. And that's yeah. six and six. Six makes, six misses. So this, her 13th competition, you know, depending if she makes or miss, she moves over or under 50% likelihood of making the third attempt. You know, we'll have to look and figure out what the average success rate across all competitors is. Yeah in the snatch, clean and jerk. You know, she arguably makes the perfect selections because a clean and jerk opening percentage is also 100. Wow. And her third attempt clean and jerk percent made is also 50%. That's so phenomenal, she's taking, yeah. you know, you kind of want a 50-50 third attempt. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose anything lower than that, you know, is potentially too big and anything higher than that might be a little bit too light. Yeah, it might be leaving kilos on the table. Yeah. Whereas if we compare that with Julian Perio, you know, her third attempt, clean and jerk, she makes 80, she's made 18% of her clean and jerk third attempt. That may only be one or two successful clean and jerks. Uh, yes. One, one third success. Well, I could tell you that she hasn't made one since 2018. 86 kilos at the 2018 yeah. World Championships. And, uh... I mean, she was like a, maybe a youth athlete then. So since then, she hasn't made a third attempt. Wow. In about 12 competitions. So. Yeah, but back to uh, the, the athlete who's <laughs> actually competing, Mihaela Kambe. It's 93. This is an attempt at a European record to beat her own record. And if she does this, she would need 108. Yeah. To move then ahead of Jordan De La Cruz as the number four ranked uh, 49 in the world. 
Although really it's sort of number six ranked because there is another Chinese and another North Korean, but they're not they're not eligible. European record ninety three kilos. Huge lift. This is you know, this is not far off double body weight. Did she uh, time out? She timed out. Timed and out. And then she missed. Unfortunately the time. That was bizarre. So I did not expect that. Lift. She almost it was a last got sort of thrown off by the the double yeah. buzz as she pulled. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that's why she missed, but she knew as she was pulling, I, this is a miss. Yeah. And then she sort of just jumped through it and walked off. Yeah. Yeah, the timer went. You know, I mean, that was that's unfortunate. I, that has to be just a total... I mean, you know, a failure is the wrong word, but yeah, a, a clerical error, I guess. She had to have been to told yeah. that she was walking up, you know, you've got 20 seconds or yeah. whatever it was. You know, you've got to be quicker than that. Yeah. Well, why not be ready, right? Yeah. Give yourself every opportunity to succeed. Well, it's unfortunate. She's, you know, Jordan I mean, De La Cruz is probably breathing somewhat of a sigh of relief because yeah. at 90, you know, Cambe is not known for a clean and jerk. She'd need 111, which is something she's never done before. So. I think Jordan will stay at fourth. Cambay is probably going to stay at fifth, and unfortunately, Julia Perry is going to stay at twelfth. Yeah. It's all going to come down to Thailand, Max. It's going to be it's Thailand gonna, in yeah. April. You know, at the World World Cup, that is the final competition for athletes to try and qualify. That's going to get very spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Thailand and spicy, they go hand in hand. They do. I think that's why <laughs> they chose it. You know, I think they probably first competition of a qualification period, maybe UK. You know, keep it bland. <laughs> Bit of salt and pepper. Boil, boil everything. It's <laughs> a good way to cook. Some potato. <laughs> but by the end, yeah, we're getting some spice in. Okay, so that's the end of the snatch portion of the uh, women's 49 kilo A session. It was a uh, gold medal there, of course. To Mahela Kambay, 90 kilos. Uh, the silver to Dugu Alici from Turkey. The bronze, oh, that, that was with 78 kilos. The bronze is 74, despite other athletes having made 74, but she, she did it first. Uh, goes to Sira Castell from Spain. Julia Imperio bombs out. Three misses at 83 kilos. So, you know, if you had to write a sort of a few versions of what could happen. Yeah. That would be one of them. Yeah. You yeah. know, this session looks kind of what we probably expect. A lot of red, a lot of misses yep. all across the board. Not necessarily because everyone's trying to get top 10, but, you know, it's it's an Olympic class, so everything's more competitive. You also, at the higher echelon there in those top four, a lot more missing because those people are, you know, like we just saw with Impero, just on the cusp. Yeah. They have an Olympics on the line, and that is something that, We've discussed a lot over the over the years, even over the last few days, last a, last few hours actually. Is do we try to change? And I say we. I mean, does the you know weightlifting community look to change the qualification for the next Olympics, or do we like it? You know, there's something quite fun and, and simple about it's your best performance and the top ten go, but it does change not only the importance of a medal at a competition like this, but yeah. do people really. You know, Julia's not here to medal. She's just trying to yeah, get to the exactly. Olympics. And that's going to happen in every category. Um, and it, you know, we see more reds on the board. People open heavier than they maybe ought to, or at least that they would do. If, you know, if Julia was here to compete at the European Championships, yeah, she 80. would have opened at 78, yeah. jumped to 81, maybe made two, jumped to 83, 84, and missed. You know, and, yeah. and she'd be putting up a total. Yeah, it's one of those things where... Any, uh, you know, like we talk about, just trade-offs. Any one of these changes would, you know, have an influence on the way the sport is contested. Do people focus on the meets more? Do they focus on qualification for the Olympics more? You know, and any any modification of that just puts a lot of weight on either way. It, it sort of turns out. Back in the day, when they used to have a point system where lifters of different countries competed to earn points. You know, everybody would show up and lift, and you know, as the quad went on, people would come out of the woodwork that had, you know, not been around for a while, yeah. and just there to score points. But then, you know, the people that score all the points may not even go to the Olympics because right. they get selected. So this individual system is, I think, a bit better because we get a chance to really follow the story of an individual. Right. They work their way towards the Olympics. We get to see that. 
It's tough. I mean, uh, there's that third that attempt. So close, just to on her toes too much. See the emotion. She knows. Okay, I've got. I have one more chance at this, and it's in Thailand. In yeah. In two months, in under two months, she's going to be trying this again. I mean, it's brutal. That's not enough time to. You know, she's not running a big program there. She's got us. Yeah. These athletes have to stay in shape. Yeah. And you know what you're saying, Max? It's interesting. Oh, also worth mentioning, Julia has indeed withdrawn from the competition. Yeah. There's there's no point in her continuing. Yeah. Um, but, um, yes, the, the athletes, you know, this sort of, what's happening with these athletes competing and trying to go to the Olympics rather than necessarily caring about the competition that they're at, I'm, I'm very aware of that as, you know, part of the commentary, because I remember earlier on in the qualification, uh, process, you know, a year, year and a half ago, I remember seeing somebody saying, stop talking about the rankings, yeah. just commentate the session. And I sort of, I understood what they were saying, but it gets to this point now where yeah, well, we yeah. can commentate the European Championships, and we are, but we have to have an eye to what's going on in the greater sport right now, which is that these athletes, the, the best athletes in the field, are here to be top 10 lifters. They're just trying to improve their rankings, and we have to mention it. We have to talk about it because it's, it feels like it's half of the story. Well, I mean, it's, it's you can see its effects on the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a it's not a mystery why why there's more bomb outs, there's more big attempts that you know, and why someone like you know Impero is pulling out of the clean and jerk. Right. If if the Olympic qualification system wasn't you know clearly having an influence on this, then we would see a different type of playing field. Yeah, totally. I mean, tomorrow I believe we've got the. Uh I believe we've got the men's 61 kilo session, which is the first Olympic session uh, from the men's. We've also got the 55s, but there are athletes in that from the from Europe who are going to be doing similar things. You know, I imagine someone like Shota Mishvalidze, he might be opening pretty heavy. Even Dimov is going to be going yeah. very heavy from Bulgaria. You know, even someone like Hampton Morris, who, you know, he's a U.S. athlete, but of course he's competing here at the European Champs as a guest athlete. He's 10th right now. That's not a safe place to be no. when 11th is one kilo behind you. Yeah, I mean, really, really, it comes down to like it's like eighth place to probably like, you know, maybe 13, 14, 13, 14, yeah, 15, know? yeah. Anyone, anyone's day could be made by exactly. by just really performing exceptionally well. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to see Hampton opening in the snatch light because why would he? He needs to. I don't think if we've he's ever seen lift, him open light. Yeah, this is true. It's true, <laughs> but you know he's gonna he's gonna push it because he's he already to, totaled yeah. 292. He might as well just be trying to beat that. So yeah. he knows he can you know maybe clean jerk 170. So well, okay, I gotta open it mid 20s in the snatch and just see what happens. Well, you know a good a good an interesting point here is that the the increased magnitude of importance of those attempts, those openers on the strategy just starts to weigh on people even more you know you just saw that here with imperio yeah you know 83 if she's unsuccessful with that in the first okay maybe you know make it on my second and then bump up and i can still make the total i need right as soon as you're unsuccessful in the second it you know it's almost a, a moot point you know how much further can you go you mm -hmm. know you're gonna think in your head as an athlete can i do this giant clean and jerk to make this total that i know isn't even probably going to be securing me yeah so it's a it's it's rough. It's, yeah. it's definitely just everything becomes more precarious. Every lift is more important. It's challenging. I mean, one thing that's for sure is that here and in Thailand, those athletes who are trying to get into the top 10, if they do miss all their snatches, they will withdraw. Yeah, it's likely. They won't, they, they're just not going to have the... Because there'll be such an emotional come down after oh, missing yeah. the snatch that trying to clean and jerk for what feels like no reason yeah. is going to, it will be impossible. Are you ready, Sophia? Wow, the, uh, the announcer, I see him now, Max. He's, he's on his feet. He's excited. He's, he he is, is on his feet. He, and we noticed we him in the 45s. He was getting very excited. Yeah. It's good to see. I, it's nice to see the hype, actually. I agree. You know, yeah. we're, we're making sort of light of it. It's actually good to see someone really inject some energy and passion into we'll these competitions. <laughs> Here we go, yeah. Is that audible on the on the feed? I hope everybody at Weight of so. TV is is hearing that. Make some noise, Bulgaria. And we've already got quite a lot of people in the crowd. I mean, it's not packed. It's far from packed. We've got a few hundred people, probably, yeah, around. Yeah. Uh, which, for a 49-kilo session, that's 
pretty good. Um, things will change, of course, as uh, you know, as the weight categories go up and there are more Bulgarian athletes competing. Yeah, this is a pretty, this is a good turnout though for yeah. for the first day. You know, a lot of people maybe haven't shown up yet. And yeah, yeah. Well, no Bulgarians in this session at all, so yeah, a pretty good showing. You know, tomorrow I think with the uh, men's 61 kilo category, Ivan Dimov from Bulgaria, he's competing. Yeah. I, I like to think we're going to see a, you know, a good doubling in the size of, of the audience here. And then by the time the most famous weightlifter in Bulgaria, Carlos Sassar, comes to Pete in the 89s, uh, there's going to be thousands. It's going to be electric. It's going to be very loud. Yeah. It, it's very steep, the, the seating in here. So it's going to really feel like we're sort of in the middle of a whole load of energy. Yeah. Very much. I think one thing I'm curious to see is what uh, what former champions do we see come out of the woodwork here to, to attend this and watch from right. Bulgaria? Well, uh, who did I say earlier? Is that Ivana? He was yeah. here yeah. in the training hall. Of course, Ivanov is, is here right now as a yeah. coach. Uh, you mentioned that you might meet up with an old Oh, training. Pashov. Yeah, Martin Pashov. Yeah, an old training. Uh, training, it's what do you call him? Training partner. His, training partner. His father was a bronze medalist in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Okay, 83 kilo opening attempt now for Adriana Panna from Romania. She only made one snatch, but she's dealing with some injuries. Easy clean. It's a good clean. Yeah, very solid That's lift. That's a nice looking truck. Oh. Waiting for the down signal. Yeah. Very comfortable that was not hard. It's a good yeah, it's a good lift. It's a good opening attempt. It's the sort of lift you want to open with. So, a few athletes, three others with openers in the 80s, and then the the bulk, or all but one, will be opening up in the 90s with Mahela Kambi, the only athlete with triple digits written in. 100 kilos she wants for her opening attempt. A little bit light for her, but, you know, why not? You know, why not win the European Championships with an easy opener, yeah. win it in style? before worrying about anything heavier. Yeah, very smart. Here's Jimenez, starting at 86. She only made one snatch at 70. Okay. So Gimenez now at 86. Right into it. Yeah. A very comfortable jerk mm -hmm. too. Oh, A wobbly maybe dropped there. it before the down signal, but. She got the whites. It's only whether the jury want to say anything yeah, about it, but I they, they shouldn't. They are discussing it. Yeah, they're chatting amongst themselves. They're pointing, and it's never nice when someone points yeah. at where you are. <laughs> it's a lot of finger wagging I see over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Just to remind referees, please press the button first. Adriana Panna. Second attempt. Three kilo jump for her. She's playing the you know the, the smart the smart game maybe. It's not her best day, so she's just trying to make some lifts now. Well actually this equals her best. Mm, that was a good clean. Yeah. Oh, strong jerk as well. Yeah, her form has held very well. It was noticeably heavy in the stand, but yeah, it, but not you know it, it didn't grind at any point. Yeah, she kind of came, fell back on her heels a yeah. little bit. Her hips took over a little more, and she probably wanted the recovery. Yeah, but there's room for more. Yeah. Uh, she's another athlete who has actually made more third attempt cleaner jerks than first attempt cleaner jerks. So. Feeling good about her third attempt for a personal best. Yeah. You know, maybe 88, I would say. Two kilo jump, something like that would be 
about right. See them making a change. Yeah, bumping to 88. For the first attempt, repair. Mario Stratolasco, Greece. Stratodaki here now. She's opening at 88. She struggled a bit in the snatch. She's also, I'm assuming, the youngest lifter here. Mm -hmm. Yep, youth athlete. Big hop back on the queen, too. Yeah. Same thing in the snatch. Mm. That <laughs> arm looked like it might be a little slow on the lockout. Yeah. It's hard to tell from our angle, but we're waiting for the lights here. Referees, your decision. The refs have been prompted by the announcer now to give their decision. Maybe this, maybe yeah, the electronic system's not working. It's a good yeah, it looks like you got three whites, yeah. Something odd went on. Let's take a yeah. look at this again. It's a very nice clean. You know, it's always these first sessions kind of ironing out everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's, her head's behind and she pushes it through, but there's yeah. no there's no extending and rebanding or anything of the elbow. Radmila Zagorak here, opener, 88. It's a little yeah. far back in the heels, but she's up. Wow. Yeah, a lot Sends of weight on that forward. front foot. But a strong lockout that holds, and she sort of Good. forces her body yeah. back under the bar. Yeah, the, the only bar. downside there is as it gets heavier, yeah. it becomes harder to do that. Those yeah. saves become more and more difficult. So Jimenez has withdrawn uh, after a successful opening attempt in the cleaner jerk at 86. So presumably some sort of injury after yeah. that opening Julia attempt. Kovalo. So she'll sit tidy with 70, 86, 156 total for Maria Jimenez. 89 kilos now for Yulia Kovalova from Ukraine. This is a kilo personal rest, personal best, straight out the gate. Yeah, right Speed to it. Clean. Very solid lift. Mm. Yep, good stuff. Good yeah, there's definitely some sort of technical oh, yeah, delay that's going on between nine. the lift being made and. That down and signal is taking a little bit longer than they expect, maybe. We're not seeing them get that really quick down signal that yeah. I think athletes really <laughs> enjoy. That footwork's good stuff. So, Yulia Kovalova then moves up into the lead because of that. She's at 159. Third attempt now for Adriana Panna. She's taking the three kilo jump. To 89. This will be a three kilo personal best if she makes it. Clean was starting to slow down on the second attempt. Yeah, really watch for her balance. If she shifts backwards in the clean under her heel, it's going to be tough to stand. Forward that time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Almost the opposite <laughs> of what we thought. <laughs> 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 Just in case we don't know why she yeah. missed, she'd she let us all know. Good it was sense of humor there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rounding of the back. Quick, the knees quick did touch, I think. Clinic for everyone in case yeah. they were wondering what happened there. Don't do that, she said. So that's uh, Romania. Well, one of the two Romanians, half of the Romanians out. 67 86 for Adriana Panash. She currently sits in fifth place.
Not a bad showing, but not, not her best. Yeah. So I think Olivia Drazga from Poland, the junior athlete, will be the first of uh, four athletes calling for 90 kilos right now. Oh, no, they might be running in to put in a change. Yeah, I think they're moving up. They've gone for 92, maybe. A bit of confusion as to what's been written in, but I'm sure we'll see. We have a change. So they've made a change. Now another coach. I think the Greek coach, I saw a wristband that said Greek on it, reached through with a pen. So I think uh, we saw a change there. Yeah, unless that's misdirection, it's probably the Greek coach. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Sarah Castell from Spain. She snatched well, 74. Yeah, I have noticed a lot of the Spanish lifters, you know, they walk up to the bar and they go pretty yeah. quickly. So we'll see if Castell is the same or if she takes her time a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit slower to get going. Yeah, she takes a lot of time here. Methodical setup. I like nice to see that. Clean. It's a good clean. Mm. It's pretty good lift all it's over pretty there. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid. There's a few more kilos there for sure, and uh, that's going to put her at what 164, which moves her to the lead for now. First athlete to hit 90 in this session. Now, of course, this is sort of the top left range of where we were at in the 45 kilo category. And these are just openers for half of these athletes here today, the 49s. That extra four kilos of body weight, plus a little bit more competition in the 49s, just pushes the numbers higher and higher. So, Olivia Dzazka is here at 91. She's gonna come out, nope. Change. Yeah, I think we're back to Strati Daki. 91 kilos. They certainly put the hype music on for this attempt. Three kilo jump. Has a very pronounced backwards jump. Yeah. The heavier the clean gets, the less forgiving that technique yeah. is. You, you can maybe just about get away with it in the snatch. Yeah, watch uh, for not her. Not easily, but you can. But then the clean is so tough. Oh, that's On, great. Yeah, nice lift. Wow. Yeah. And again, sh that's oh. just not there. It's a pain. You know, that right arm buckled as well right yeah. off the bat. Did it? I didn't. Know, I didn't know. I was watching from the side, the side angle. You, I think you were maybe glancing at the front cam. Yeah. Uh, we are. We've got all the angles available to us, which is fortunate. But she's, you know, she catches the bar with her head so far back behind the bar, and then has to push through to try and, you know, find some balance again. And as she does that, all of her sort of momentum starts going forward, and then as we saw here, she ends up just walking through the bar and losing it back. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, you can see her shoes we'll and her feet here. Yeah, we'll take a look at the uh, the footwork foot cam. You'd love to see it. There we go, and then just yeah. You know, it's so difficult up. to stabilize that bar yeah. running forward or backward if it's that far over your. Oh. Is um, the is the the clock is not running on the scoreboard? So yeah, I need to wait. Yeah, we see the TC coming out here. Here we move on. I think. Okay, yeah, the time's okay. going now. Clock started. Whatever it was, it's been resolved. So, Medin Belicie from Turkey. To snatch 74. This is her opening clean and jerk at 93. She, she took fourth in the snatch, but it was equal to the, the bronze medal. So, she's one of those athletes in with a shot at, at a medal here. Yeah, especially with Imperio mm. withdrawing. Very slow pull, but it's a quicker stand than it was pull. All oh, the back foot oh, slipping sliding. into a perfect splits. 
That's impressive mobility, no. but yeah. it is a miss. That'll be uh, on social media, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Unfortunate. That was a good clean. Her yeah. feet were definitely sliding, but that's more just a balance issue than anything else. Yeah, I think it's easy to sometimes look down at the platform and, and suggest that it was chalk, but you yeah. know, often it is just a bit too much weight on the front foot. The back foot's got not enough pressure to keep it stuck, and it slips. Great lockout, though. And it was a good split. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, and then a great split. Silver lining here. <laughs> Yeah. Zazka here from Poland now. That's her opener at 93. She went three for three in the snatches. Only lifter to do that so far. Oh, quick clean. He had a very solid jerk, too. Very nice. Yeah, very nice lift. It's a good oh, she, yeah, she snatched very well. The only athlete to go three for three. She made 74. Now she makes that. You know, she's, she might be a junior, but you know, I, you've got to say that she's, she's got to be my pick for bronze, I think, in this session. You know, even, I mean, it's a good example of, you know, potentially good attempt selection leading to yeah. a, good, a good outcome, a good meet. You know, that, that's a confidence building kind of activity. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's the kind of meet you want to have with young lifters. Oh, yeah. Build them up, build them up. So, I think we've got a few changes here going on from several athletes. I think Tam from Ireland, is, she's bumped up to 94. Yeah. Uh, and then there were... Three other athletes also on 93. I think there's been a little bit of bump in there. Yeah. So actually, it's going to go to Yulia Kovalova. She has dropped down from 95. She just put that in as a placeholder. So this is a four kilo jump from her 89 kilo opener. Be clean. Someone. Wow. Oh, way forward there. Amazing. I Very mean, you, solid. you've got to see a side angle of that. And for the second it's or third time, day. Max, they have been late to stop yeah. the countdown timer. You know, the athlete is mid pull, and the 30 second timer goes off. You know, or beyond mid pull. You know, they're sort of yeah. in the catch and it goes. It's just. It's, uh, I know you've got to wait for the bar to pass the knee to stop the time, but it seemed clearly beyond at that point. I think if you notice the timer, then it's too late. Yeah. You know, they've made an error in, in stopping it. But also, you know, it's, it's rare that the athlete pulls with 31 seconds to go or 30 seconds to go. Yeah, so. a lot of people just wait for that buzzer. Right. Billy Sierra. She missed the jerk on the first, yeah. deep into a splits on the platform. Mm -hmm. Clean was a bit tougher. She stands up with it. Very yeah, crooked. It's tough, but yeah. she's up. Okay, let's see if she can balance this split a bit better. Yes, just. Oh, can she get, stay fight. under it, though? The bar's still oh. moving. She can't. She looks. She, she to never the judges yeah. saying, why didn't you give me the dance signal? Yeah. But she they couldn't. Yeah, she was never in control no. there. Just too much moving yeah, around. And you could even see in that split that that back foot wanted to move. They're going to play a challenge card. That's not. It's not going to go. They're going to use mean, it to appeal to the jury. But at this point, I guess it's worth it because she, she's only got one lift left. But I mean, I didn't play it on the third one. That's true. But, yeah, but we don't know, you know what's going to happen enough, there. If you want to play it, play it. You know, she could bump up to 94 kilos, and then she's going to have one, two, three, four. Probably four attempts before her. Challenge card will be presented to the jury. Five athletes calling for it. One of them will bump up for sure. Just the automatic increase. I mean, look at this. She's almost there, but she is moving. Her feet are still going. Yeah, yeah there's. There, it's become one of those, one of those things where, you know, again, like some of the, uh, 
the verbiage around press outs mm -hmm. where, you know, there's potentially just a bit of, I mean, a bit of confusion or kind of, you know, trying to find the gray area to justify a lift being right or wrong or, you know, whites or reds. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, without a doubt, that lift is still moving. Is She's not motionless. Yeah, it's a no lift. Yeah, it's a no They're going to uphold that. I think that's the right call. Yeah, it's, that's the right call. It's unfortunate, you know, and the lifters yeah. so yeah. close, just not quite there. You know, you'd call it a make and training, probably. Oh, for sure. But, you know, and even at maybe a different level of competition, that would pass, you know, at a, a national level event. Yeah, if it's country. a final attempt, you're at a local comp, you know, people might love it and just call it, you know, that's... Yeah. Almost if yeah. she'd have just let it go yeah. earlier <laughs> instead of fighting with it. There's, there was a moment where she stood and then she started to move again. Yeah. She might have had more chance at getting away with it. We have a change. 94 kilos on the bar, please. So I think we're going to go to Tam now from Ireland. This 94. Is for the first attempt for Tam yeah. Guin, Ireland. Another change. Say where. Oh, no, we've. I think Tam's gone up now too. Yeah. So I mean, they're going very aggressive, Team Island here. Yeah. Um, the most we've ever seen from Tam is 98 kilos, and I think yeah. she did that very recently at the. She did. Okay, so she did 96 at the World Championships, and it was 98 at the European Champs last year, and that's where she got that medal. Yeah. And you know what? She, she, that might be the kind of that's medal true. range again. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay, maybe fair enough. Yeah, just go heavy and let's see if you can do it again, because that, that was pretty amazing. Here's 94. This is Zagorac from Serbia. This is a six kilo. Yeah, that I think that's a six kilo jump. Yeah, that's a huge jump. That's that's too much. You know, She's probably been sat back there for 15 minutes, cooling down, and then six kilo jump at that. At this, these sort of weights is enormous. Sort of seven, six, seven percent of the whole. Yeah. Of the weight on the bar, seven percent. It's, it's mad. Castell here at 94. You know, certainly with Julian Perry having withdrawn after bombing out in the snatch, it does make the battle for that bronze in the total suddenly get a little bit more exciting. It's a real shame, but, you know, there are always, you know, we get new medalists now. Yeah. It's always fun to see a new athlete get their first international total, total medal. Okay, 94 for Sarah Castell. This moves it into the lead ahead of Olivia Zazka. Heavy pull. Oh, She's tough up. recovery as well. Yeah, her, yeah. her chest has just dropped so much at the bottom of the dip before She's she not dropped there. back up. Yeah, so that bar just rolled down her shoulders in the bottom of the dip. It's not, she can't recover from that. Yeah. You know, if she can make the clean a little. A little smoother. She's in with a chance. Yeah, those tough cleans just take so much energy out of them. If you don't have a strong jerk, it just becomes that much harder. You know, Tam is in a... She's in a good position. 74 in the snatch is actually the equal bronze medal in the snatch. She did it last, so yeah. she's not, but... She's in a good place. So... If she makes... Say a, a 95 kilo opener. Here's so a do very well. 94 and a third. Just pulled this moments ago. Two minutes before, yeah. This would be very impressive if she can get under it. Takes incredible will to go under this bar. Oh, she made an attempt. Yeah, she did. That was a valiant attempt. Yeah. A fair effort there. No but unfortunately. She's not going to make it. So, Zigora from Serbia is going to walk away with a, I believe, a two for six performance. Not her best day. So, 94 for Cassell again.
Castell made 90 on her opener, missed this weight on her last attempt in the jerk. She definitely struggles a little bit on the clean, the recovery. Mm -hmm. forward yeah straight away yeah that you know that's a miss right off the floor you can yeah, see it's just not there yeah. it's a shame this will be the first attempt for Turkey. so do we have Elichi Dugu come in next is yeah, that Dugu is up here with 95 we'll see if she right. comes out I don't see her well, Dubu Walking told us that she'd made 100 kilos in training. Yep, there she is. Yeah. So 95, it's it's doable. It's it's a heavy opener, but it's uh, it's certainly within her abilities at this point. She's one of five athletes calling for this weight. That'll be. Uh, after this, and this opener will put her in the lead by six kilos. Stronger than her teammate. Or Although that nope. same kind of thing. We see a similar miss actually in, yeah. in these first two sessions. They're sort of running out in front. Right into the jerk. She's shaking that arm out. Looks like she might have hurt her elbow on that one. Next lifter from Ireland. Okay, here's Tam Nguyen. First attempt. 95 opener. Yeah, she has a great shot here at a run for another medal or a medal potentially being a second in her career. Okay, this is a big lift. She will move into a medal position if she makes this, not just in the clean jump, but also the total. Oh, ah, spat out falls the back. backwards. She's got the strength for it. Yeah, just lost her balance, yeah. landed on her heels. You know, she made one lift in the snatch, and it was a third attempt. So this is not a position that she's unfamiliar with. Yeah, she is a, she's a fighter, too. I mean, yeah. those first two snatches were not, <laughs> they were not confidence inspiring, yeah. but she came back on the third. It's being handled by two great coaches, three great coaches that. But you know, we're getting a bit of red now on the board, Max. A few missed lifts, you know. Even openers, yeah. we're seeing a, a lot of missed lifts. Well, <coughs> the, the antidote to missed lifts is this girl right here, Zazga, yeah, from Poland. She's gone. She's been looking so good. So far, four for four, three snatches, one clean and jerk. Second attempt here at 95. She said that training's been tough this last month, but she thinks it's going to be her best performance possible. She's also had no injuries for a while. Beautiful clean. clean, yeah. Does she have the jerk? Wow. Solid, yeah. but... Oh, oh. Uh, now, I think that right arm might have been a press out. It was a make, and then as she started to wonder... Game, wow. Two, two whites. Two we whites. We'll keep an eye on the jury. See if anything Are happens. they going to review it? Or? I hope they just let it go, because... I think that's we all <laughs> we all kind of hope that the competition proceeds as 
Is that the technical, that the technical control? Someone's gone over and they're almost egging the jury on to take a review of this. Yeah. Come on, just... Let's get a move on. Interestingly, she uh, told us that she's focusing on accessory strength exercises at the moment. Mm. Lots of lunges, she said. And you can kind of see when she jerks. Her front leg is just so strong in that position. Yeah, there's a press out. They've called it. Uh, they've yeah. overturned it for a press out. Yeah, that right arm was a little bit slow to lock. Well, it seemed like too much to hope for to get a 6-for-6 six six performance at this competition. But she's still, she's still in the lead. Yeah, I mean, she's doing well. 167 as a junior. But, of course, Mihaela Kambe will move ahead when she opens up. And then athletes chasing her. I mean, really, we're just looking at... I mean, we still have three athletes yet to make a clean yeah. and jerk here. They've Belicia, Dugu, and Tam could all move ahead if they make these 95s, so we'll see. Okay, here's Dugu. One of those three that was not successful in their opener. One of the athletes who just needs to make a lift to move into the lead. I mean, she was about as close as you can get. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh dear. This is, this is getting pretty rough here for these yeah. athletes because each subsequent miss really makes that podium even harder to get to. Anyone who can be successful moves ahead. So Tam's up now. You know, the heaviest clean check we've seen is 93. We've had. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, this lift six, right seven, here. Eight, could nine, ten misses since. 95 could very well be a medal in the clean and jerk. Yeah, this I will mean. put her into the lead. Lead in the total so far. and a, Yeah, very possibly a clean and jerk medal. It's an important lift. Yeah. You know, missed the first strength. clean. She just got rocked back on her heels and, and lost balance. So a power clean 88 in the training hall two days ago. That's much better. better. Yeah. Much, much better. She's made three kilos more than this in competition. Oh, solid That's jerk. It. Brilliant. Now she has to stay focused. She's got yeah. one attempt remaining, and she's probably going to need it. I mean, if we've seen anything from her in this competition so far, clutch lifts yeah. are in her pocket. She told us that the most she's made this year is 92 kilos. So she's just hit a, uh, a 2024 record, which has been good. She told us that she's been just focusing on more general strength in the squats and pulls. Over now. Oh. Oh, can't hold on. Yeah, that just pushed her back as well. She's limping yeah, maybe she's just a little bit, but it might just be. Give her another applause. Okay, so four third attempts remain and then one first attempt. And it's, uh, as it stands, Tam is in the lead. Olivia from Poland is in silver. But there are two other athletes who just need to make lifts to move into those medal sort of positions also. And yeah. they're both Turkish. Here's the first. It's the junior, Medin Belicie. She's missed 93 twice. Yeah. This would also just tie Tam as well, yeah. so. She'll actually move behind her. Let's move into second ahead of Olivia Drasga. It's very slow, but she can grind oh. up with it. Big fight on the clean. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Another split. She's not happy with herself. You know, she really does split wide in the jerk, but yeah, it's just her all feet of that just weight. Keep going. All of that weight's on her front foot. There's yeah. no traction on the back leg. I'm just leaning forward to try and save it even more, but that's unfortunate for her. You know, we'll have to do a little bit of a review at the end of this European Championships and look at the make to miss ratio in Olympic versus non-Olympic categories. Because oh, I, yeah. I do have a feeling that we're seeing more misses in this 49 kilo session than we would normally see. Yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit of red on the board here. Not unexpected, though. I think we all saw this coming. So Another lifter needs to make this. Lizia has to make this to stay in the competition. Yeah. This would move her into first, though. Oh, yeah. This is big. Forward. No. It's forward, which means that it's over for her. Ireland has guaranteed silver. Incredible. In total. Uh, Olivia Zazga has guaranteed bronze in total. Well, um, well he's guaranteed bronze. Yeah, Maybe yeah. silver. It, you know, if yeah, if yeah. Cambe, you know, misses and stuff. But well, they're both guaranteed medals in the yeah. total, and and so is uh, if, yeah. If if Olivia makes this, if, she moves yeah, ahead of Tam exactly. in the total. Tam still has one more clean and jerk, though, so yep. it's a little battle back and forth between these two. Zazka, very consistent, very solid yep. lifter. She looks Only good. Only slight press out on the last jerk. It was so slight. That got overturned by the jury. Powerful clean. Very good clean. A oh, super solid jerk it this time. It is solid. There's tiny movement, but I don't think it's enough to warrant uh, a jury intervention. It's an astonishing lift. The junior from Poland, Olivia Zazga, moves into the lead ahead of Tam Nguyen from Ireland. What an incredible performance for her. Five for six, really made all six lifts, just got one overturned. Yeah. That second attempt, clean and jerk. So here comes Tam, she needs 97 now because they both had the same uh, snatch and of course there's no body weight rule anymore so you do actually have to out total yep. the other person. So Tam will need 97, that will move her ahead of Olivia, back into the lead before bumping down into second when Mahela Kambe opens up with 100 kilos. Well, she's locked in bronze. The question is, how hungry is she to make this silver medal lift? It's a weight she's made before. She needs this to move ahead. She's made 42% of all of her clean jerk third attempts in international competition. It's forward. Ah, just yeah, forward. It was forward yeah. off the floor. It looked like that opener. No. But you know what? She's got a medal. She's she's got medals. I mean, the it's second time, you know, every time <laughs> every time she medals, it's a she's it's got a two medals. Historic event, yeah. She's got a bronze probably in the clean and jerk, and uh, and a bronze in the total. You know, she probably feels pretty dejected there, this but will be the first it's a massive accomplishment yeah. for. Ireland for her to come out here and, and medal again two years in a row now, Europeans. Yeah. Becoming a very strong competitor here. So here comes Mihaela Kambe, the, the European record holder in the total. She told us that training 2024 has been very special. She's been pushing harder. She said she's had no injuries recently or anything like that. She just focuses on her technique. Her power is there. She's made every single open with a clean and jerk of her international career. She's never missed. 
so powerful, so strong. Let's see why. Just incredible. It's absurdly. You know, now that she's won like, it, the question yeah. is, how big does she want to go here? Right, right. I mean, well, the only European record that she doesn't own is in the cleaner jerk. Uh, and that's it's a 112. That's a bit steep. It's steep. She'd need 113. She'd need to move ahead of it. I mean, we'll know here on her second attempt anything over 105. Yeah. I don't know if she takes that big a jump. If she went for it as well, it would. She, you know what? More important than that right now might be trying to move into fourth in the world rankings, which is 201. Yeah, 111. Yeah. If she goes for 106 here on a second attempt. Yeah, I think, then I think 111. if we see that, we see 106, then 111. Yeah, and that's an attempt to get into fourth. Based on how strong those lifts are, it's reasonable. I don't think that's, that's too big a stretch. But, yeah. you know, if it's not that, then she's already done, right? Why, yeah. why even do two more lifts? Well, they've, they've loaded 104, but that's just their next jump. They'll yeah. likely make a change. Generally, you want to put that highest way you can before they have to switch plates. Yeah, we'll get a two and a half yeah. under, the, under the collars. We'll have to take the collar off. Takes a little more time. A little bit more rest. Another change. Yeah, there we go. 105. Okay, 105. 105 kilos on the bar for the second It would change. seem... Well, she still could take six, I believe, she right? She could, yeah. She declared four. They declared 101, changed to four. And the countdown begins. Yeah, the world record from uh, eight days ago, Ri Gum, 125 kilos. The North Korean, that's... That's unreal. Yeah, that's... Uh, a different league of weightlifting that I mean she actually is I mean, ranked now by Sinclair as the best weightlifter in the world. I was just gonna say that yeah. 125 is in excess of the 48 record. It was like 121 I think. Yeah. It's it's more than two and a half times body That's weight. Absolutely wild. Okay, 105. Big clean and jerk. She's already got gold locked up in all three. This goes for a huge one ninety five total. But tougher clean than the opener. But what you know a what? jerk. <laughs> we say it's a tougher clean. If any of the other athletes had even opened like that, <laughs> we'd have true. said that's an easy opener. Good that's true. Goodness. Yeah, a, a, a little bit of a drop off from the first to second. I, I'm not sure what she's going to take here. Yeah. You know, 111 would be the, the move that moves her up on the list. She's in fifth. If she does 201 as a total, she'd be fourth on the list. There's uh, the, Olivia the, and Tam on the left and right of your screen. They, they both know that they've got medals in the total. They're yeah. both emotional and happy. It's very, very cool to see. We have a change loader, please. So what do we think? I think more one. important than her maybe going to move up the rankings and, and missing is maybe just making some lifts. Just getting yeah. in a you know a 108 or something like that, a 109. Her best is her best is 106. I was yeah, I was just gonna say yeah, she wow. might be going for a personal record so this here. Is, that 105 looked very comfortable. She has a surprisingly low cleaner jerk when you consider that she has you know maybe the fourth, third or fourth, fourth best snatch in the world. 109. Wow, 109. big lift. Change, well, maybe she's well, gonna go for it. Well, 109 is a personal record total. Right, that's it's true. It's a European record total. It's a personal best clean and jerk and a European record total. So that, and it also, yeah, it doesn't move up the ranking, but it, it gives her I another mean, kilo. In fifth place, the ranking is a pretty secure spot. Oh yeah, she's totally secure. So this is a smart move. Yeah. This would be a huge attempt, 109. Valentina makes this attempt. It's going to be a new record. Yeah, 109. Record. Clean they said that it's a record in clean and jerk, it's not, but it is a record in total. European record. So she has 50 seconds on the clock. We can see her now making her walk out onto the platform. Very confident athlete. 
And if she wins this, I mean, how many? That'll be one, two, three. This will be her fifth international gold medal in the total. She's a European Gina youth Gina champion Gina. twice. She's a junior European champion once. She's a senior European champion now twice with today's performance. Back to back at the senior level. Big Here's one personal record for her. European record in the total if she makes it. Three seconds. They're saying that she timed out. She didn't. She did not time she out. She needs She's to good. not get distracted. And she hasn't been. Wow. That is an amazing lift from Mahela Kambe and some poor what work on the timing. Huge performance. Huge performance. Absolutely incredible. It is so odd that she, you know, she timed out in the snatch on her third attempt. She yeah. almost did in the clean jerk. They should not have let that buzzer go when she was so clearly, you know, standing up the clean basically yeah. at that point. Yeah, the, the um, very distracting, but she she knew that she lifted it in time. She kept her focus and she made that lift. Yeah, so it's smart, very experienced, great clean there. It's a PR for her in the clean and jerk and the total, and it's a senior European record in the total. Just phenomenal lifting. Yeah. She's really coming to her own here as a lifter. I mean, oh, yeah. Over the last two years, we've seen her improve dramatically and just really start to become, you know, one of the leaders in this in this weight class here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's no doubt, it's no surprise, I should say, but Mihaela Kambe from Romania takes the gold Three golds, 90, 109, a 199 kilo total. The silver medal is going to go to Olivia Drzazga from Poland, the junior athlete, went five for six, one of two athletes to do so, along with Mihaela Kambe. 74, 96, they're just a kilo behind. From Ireland, it's Tam Nguyen, 74, 95, a 169 kilo total. So uh, it's, uh, it's a bronze in the clean jerk total for her, it's a silver in the Snatch and sorry, the clean jerk and total for Olivia and then three golds for Mahela. Uh, we saw Julian Perry from Italy miss all three snatches and then withdraw from competition. Maria Jimenez also withdrew from competition after a successful clean and jerk and total. She withdrew her final two attempts. And then the runner up, Sira Castell from Spain, 74 90, a 164 kilo total.